Hi, I'm Noah from Leafyport here at CBD Medics offices. I'm here with Bini Goldman, Director of Sales. Hi, Bini. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. Thank you very much for having us. Pleasure, thanks for coming. So, do you want to tell us about your company and its history? Sure, absolutely. So, as I mentioned, my name is Bini Goldman. I'm a Director of Sales for Abacus Health Products. Uh, and here we are to talk about CBD Medic. So, CBD Medic is our B2C brand. Uh, it's currently found in FDM, so that's Food, Drug, and Mass around the country and around the United States, um, and is also sold directly on our website. So CBD Medic, and it's really important to understand a little bit about us, Abacus, as a company uh, before we can get to CBD Medic. So Abacus is a pharmaceutical manufacturing company. Um, we are a daughter company. Our mother, our parent company is a company named Aidence Scientific. And Aidence is an also established pharmaceutical manufacturer. And Aidence specializes in topical skin care. So products about wound care, burn care, skin care, shingles, anything along those lines, uh, topical creams and ointments. So... With our, our parent company, Aidence, uh, about five years ago, we actually ended up creating Abacus. And Abacus is the parent company for CBD Medic. So CBD Medic is our brand. And that's just important to understand the hierarchy of where that works out. So Aidence is the parent company. Abacus is the company that creates CBD Medic. And CBD Medic is this incredible brand that we have here. Um, so a little bit about us and, and who we are and what we do. CBD uh, Medic is an all-topical line of analgesic products, meaning they focus on pain relief and skin care. Okay. Uh, we have products that are from the full spectrum from, uh, to the athlete from active sport, um, which we have right here, a product in a stick that's very easy to be applied all the way to products for arthritis for the people on the older spectrum, um, that want products for their hands and their feet and something that's a bit more heavy use. Um, we also have products for skincare and we have products for, uh, massage. So we really have a, a full line of topical products, but again, everything is topical and not ingestible. So tell us about the range of products and what the highlights of each product. Absolutely. So we talk about CBD Medic, as I mentioned, it is an all topical line and all of these products are actually built towards a specific indication. So all of our products are very clearly labeled to who it's best for, right? And for what indication it works best. Um, now, in addition to having different indications and different specific uh, issues to deal with, we actually have different uh, delivery mechanisms and different application methods as well. So for instance, we have a muscle and joint pain relief spray. This is a very easy spray, very common with people who simply want to put a spray, not think about it and continue with their day, right? So this is the easy one that we like to call it. This has 10% menthol, 3% camphor and 200 milligrams of CBD. Very standard day of the run of the mill product. Uh, very effective. Actually, I, I like to use it as well when I uh, don't feel like putting cream on myself. It's just an easy spray and I, I move on. Um, the active sports stick. Okay. So again, this is the uh, this is the product that's most common, most popular with athletes, people who don't want to get their hands dirty. They use this during their workouts, before or even after their workouts. Um, I personally recommend to use it before a workout. That way, it loosens up the body a little bit, gets the muscles warm and and the blood flowing. Um, that's the active sports stick. Again, this is uh, one of the more powerful products. So this has 15% menthol, 10% camphor, um, and again, it's 200 milligrams of CBD. Now, if you're looking for something a bit more gentle right? Because not everyone wants that full smack of menthol and the full hit of camphor. Uh, we have a massage therapy pain relief oil. So this actually is really nice. It's really soothing, uh, really gentle. Uh, it's got ingredients like frankincense uh, and argan oil, really nice calming terpenes and, and uh, emollients as well. Um, so this is actually um, three, 4% camphor and 3% menthol. Um, and again, 200 milligrams of CBD. Uh, so these are really uh, what we have as far as the different application methods. We use a stick, we use a spray, and we use an oil. Um, and then as far as our basic delivery mechanisms, we have a classic uh, squeeze top, okay? Uh, and we have a handful of different products that come with the squeeze top. So these are our, really our, our regulars, if you will. Um, we have the back and neck that I spoke about previously. That's one of my favorite products. Uh, the back and neck has 15% menthol and 10% camphor as well. Um, the arthritis product, uh, slightly lower. It doesn't have as much camphor, as much menthol, excuse me. Um, as you want it to be a little bit less intense. Now, the reason we made it a little bit less intense is that people with arthritis generally get it in their joints, okay, and in their hands and their feet. Now, when you have a product with such a high level of menthol, it can be a little bit too powerful for the hands and the more commonly used areas of the body. Um, so with arthritis, we wanted to, to pull it down a little bit, uh, make it 10% and 10%. Okay. Um, now we also have our acne treatment. So we have actually a whole other side of skincare. Um, we have four products for our skincare line. We have an itch and rash product. We have an eczema product and we have two products for uh, acne. So the two products we have for acne are one of them is a prefacial wash. And the second product is actually a medicated cream. So 
uh, you know, I, I have a, <laughs> I come from a larger family. And when I told my sisters about this medicated cream, they couldn't tell me how excited they were. Um, first thing they said was send me samples, send me products, send me product. So, you know, we're hoping that these types of products, uh, really will become mainstream, um, and, and a viable option, a viable solution for people that are looking for healthy alternative solutions, um, and healthy alternative products, you know, for the pain relief products, we view these as uh, an alternative for, um, you know, standard OTC products that you'll find in the market right now. And even more so for people that are currently using opioids and people that are currently having to take heavy, hard medications that have serious side effects on the body. That's not so great. So we want to use these as a, as a viable option, as a real solution, a real alternative. Um, you know, that's for the pain products. For the skincare products, you know, I think about my sister when she was younger, walking through the aisles of, of Walmart, you know, and or Walgreens or whatever it was and trying to find real acne solutions. So we always want to make sure that there's a real healthy alternative and, and that's what these are bringing to the table. So all of your products are 200 milligrams of CBD, right? Correct. And they're all broad spectrum. Correct. All these products are broad spectrum and they're all 200 milligrams of CBD. Uh, the different the different products have different varying uh, active ingredients such as camphor, menthol, uh, salicylic acid, colloidal oatmeal, and so on, but they all have 200 milligrams of CBD. That's correct. Okay. So what's your best-selling product and why do you think it's such a good product? Great question. So our best-selling product is arthritis product. That's this guy right here. Um, and there's a few reasons why it's our best-selling product. The first one is it's incredibly efficacious. It works very well. Uh, generally, people who have been suffering from arthritic symptoms or arthritic problems, uh, this isn't the first solution they've looked. This isn't the first one they've tried. Um, anyone who's really suffered from any type of chronic pain can tell you, I've tried this, I've tried that, I've tried them all, right? Now, when you provide them with a product that actually works, they stay to it and they keep coming back. So people that have tried this product and, and really believe in it are very loyal believers and we've created a very strong core uh, group of people that swear by this product. Um, so first side of it, as I mentioned, is the effectivity of the product. The second side is the messaging. By being able to call our product arthritis, aches, and pain relief ointment, it is very clear to the end consumer what this product is for and what it does. And that is not common in the CBD industry right now. Okay. There's so much mislabeling. There's so much insecurity about, or, or better yet, just uncertainty about what is actually being said. Right. Um, you'll see some of the main top companies in the industry. This is a moisturizing cream. We don't play that. This is a pain relief cream. This product will help you relieve your pain. Okay. And that's what we're very clear with. We don't play games about depression. We don't talk about cancer, God forbid, or anxiety or stress or any of those other claims you'll see floating around the CBD industry. These products speak directly to what they're good for. And they're very good at that. So that's what makes it, in my opinion, the best seller. Um, my personal favorite is actually the back and neck. I don't have arthritis yet. Um, hopefully not for any time soon. Um, but I do exercise and I am an everyday individual who sits in the office nine hours a day. I get back pains. We all get back pains every now and then. You're doing the dishes and whoop, something, something got a little caught up. So I'll take this and I'll apply it to myself. Uh, I use it probably about once a week. Take just about one to two grams, apply it to the affected area. We're good as new. Um, so that's probably my favorite product. That's great. So speaking about your ability to discuss the intended use of each product, what sets you apart from other CBD companies and what makes you unique? So that's, that's a, a deep question. Um, what sets us apart is really, in my opinion, um, what we stand for and, and what we believe in and the quality of product that you'll get from, from CBD Medic. So our background is rooted in science and development and innovation in, in formulations, right? We're, we're an experienced pharmaceutical manufacturer. We've been doing this for over 15 years. Um, this wasn't, hey, let's try to start something new from zero. This was, okay, let's take our know-how. Let's take our background. Let's take our experience. And let's put forward a new foot. Let's put forward something new that we're confident. In. So when we took all of that know-how, all of that experience, and we, we put it into a new focus, right? This new CBD focus, well, we really weren't starting from zero. We we're starting from 50, from 60%. And that puts us much closer to our end game of where we actually want to be. So what we offer is we offer real products that have real claims that have real results, right? That separates us from the entire CBD industry. There's so much talk about if, what, when, potentially. Well, it might help. I don't know. Who says it won't, right? 
We don't buy that. These products will do what they are said to do. Very straightforward, very clear. You wouldn't go to buy a laundry detergent and then find out it's pizza sauce. You'd be very frustrated, wouldn't you? So too with these products. These products are pain products. These products are skincare products. They help with acne. They help with eczema. They help with itch and rash. And that's what they're going to do. So being very clear with what we do, uh, taking our, our scientific know-how, taking our, our research and development know-how, taking our, our ability to formulate top-notch products with real quality ingredients, and then providing that transparency that's existed, right? It's, it's, we like to call it where East, eats, East meets West, right? Pharma meets holistic, right? And we're taking the, the, the pharma know-how with the, whole, uh, the wholeness uh, and wellness transparency, right? So all of our products are, are third-party tested. We have COAs available on our website that you, anyone can see and, and view. Um, you know, it, it's taking that real pharma know-how and mixing it with today's modern desire for transparency and for real products that are not going to, you know, send you for a loop and say, well, it could, might, should, would have, whatever. That's that's really where I see is we 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 take we stake our claim that we are a real pharmaceutical company making real products for real people. Hey, tell us about your manufacturing process. Sure. So our products are all manufactured in Woonsocket, Rhode Island, in our FDA audited uh, facility, and. Um, our hemp is, as I mentioned, broad spectrum, and our hemp is grown in Colorado and Oregon. We have a few different facilities out there. Um, additionally, uh, we have rigorous, as I mentioned, third-party testing that's done in several locations across the U.S. I can't say where, um, but we have uh, several locations as well. Most of our operations are done in, in Rhode Island. So, for instance, all of our manufacturing is done in Rhode Island. Our shipping and packing is done in Rhode Island as well. Um, but we are expanding. Uh, we are continuing to expand. We are hoping to bring on new facilities and uh, new locations. So uh, we'll see where it takes us. But right now, everything is focused in the U.S. Um, all of our manufacturing is done in the highest level possible. When I tell you that we are a pharmaceutical manufacturing company that have been doing this for 15 years, we've been doing this for 15 years. Um, you can go on the National Drug Code Directory. I invite you to go on the National Drug Code Directory and search our products, see our registrations, see everything that we talk about. See the full transparency of what we offer. On our website, we talk about all of the ingredients in our products, what they were used for, what are other common uses they do. We believe in transparency, right? No more of this, well, try it and find out. Yeah. We don't do that, right? So, you know, our manufacturing is the same way. We're going to show you every step along the way. Um, I invite you to send a team to our manufacturing facility as well. Um, uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to show you guys around and, uh, and, and host you guys, so... That's a little bit about us. So talking about transparency, how do you ensure the products and transparency actually? Sure. So a few different things. Um, first of all, it's really important to understand, and we get asked this a lot. People say, why isn't CBD listed as, oh, excuse me, why isn't CBD listed as a active ingredient, right? So we said, well, hold on. According to FDA registrations, uh, excuse me, according to FDA laws and regulations, you must uh, show your active ingredients first. So our active ingredients are menthol and camphor. Right now, when it comes to transparency, we have to show that first and foremost, that is on the front of the box. These are the active ingredients that we are using. Now, when it comes to the back of the box, we have all of our drug facts. Find me another company that looks like this. Okay. More additionally, we have all of the drug facts focused on the inactive ingredients. It says exactly percentages. Um, you know, th this is, this is really where we have, we have third party testing, um, we have, you know, available forms upon request. If someone really wants to see a, a COC, certificate of, a certificate of conformance, we have that available as well. Um, you know, any type of testing that is, that is known to the industry is what we're doing uh, to make sure we're putting our, our safest and highest quality products forward. And do you publish your third-party lab results online? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so you can find it online on your website? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so how do you see the future of the CBD industry? My favorite question. How do I see the future of the CBD industry? Um, well, there's a lot of regulatory framework that needs to be put in place before big steps can be taken forward. Um, there's a lot of, of legal hurdles and obstacles in the way right now, um, as well as um, the many need to become the few. And what I mean is there are thousands of CBD companies on the industry. That won't last. That's not going to survive. Um, those who can't run will fall, and those who can run will start to 
take others with them. Um, and, and I believe we're going to see a lot of uh, consolidation across the industry uh, in the next two years, really. Um, a lot of mergers and acquisitions, as well as uh, bankruptcies. Um, you started to see it already with a lot of cannabis industries that a lot of them are, are figuring out what to do now when the cash flow runs out. Um, but more important, I, I believe that the CBD industry is headed towards a reckoning day, towards a very rude awakening that CBD doesn't do everything. <laughs> can't do everything, can it? Right? It's we like to call it. It's a, it's a plant, not a cure, right? Um, and understanding that it can't do everything, and understanding that it is good for certain things, right? Same way that aloe vera is good for certain things, and same way that we know that uh, grapeseed oil extract is good for certain things, and we know that there's lots of other ingredients that you know are, are good for for certain ailments or indications, but it can't do everything. And when that reckoning day comes, and when we have the clinical data and the scientific evidence to come and say, CBD works for X, Y, and Z, and does absolutely nothing for A, B, and C, right? When that day comes, well, we want to be prepared. So we're doing everything in our power to position ourselves so that when that reckoning day comes, we have a strong scientific core, good research and development that we can build upon, um, and we have the ability to pivot in any way that we need you know, at a comfortable, at a comfortable pace so that we're not flipping things upside down, but rather we're simply saying, okay, we know what we're doing next. We've done this before. Let's move there. Um, and that's really where I see the industry moving. You know, um, ingestibles are going to have to have some type of, of regulatory framework put in place as of today, March 11th, uh, according to the FDA, flat and simple CBD is illegal to be used as a dietary supplement. Yet you see every other CBD company selling dietary supplements as CBD. So what happens now? There's going to have to be movement across the line from the FDA. There's going to have to be movement, um, you know, from from other health institutions and governmental branches. Um, but as a whole, it, the industry is going to continue to move forward. Um, right now, it's taking a bit of a, of a step back, but it's one step back, two steps forward. Um, and I don't think this industry is going anywhere anytime soon. Um, we just have to keep surging forward and, and keep pushing. So I hope only best things. That's a very interesting point of view. <laughs> so, um, what are your recommendations for the beginner user, someone who's heard about CBD and wondering where to start? So, my grandparents asked me the same thing. <laughs> They ask me, well, Ben, where do I get started? Um, and the advice I gave them is the advice I pretty much give everyone, and it's be curious, ask questions, challenge, right? So, with so many CBD companies today, You'll see that they make all a bunch of erroneous claims from cancer, depression, whatever it is, you know, stress, anxiety. And I say, on, based on what? Prove it. How, what? <laughs> how, how can you say that? Right? Did anyone verify your claims? Or are you just saying what you want to say? Challenge. Right? So this is what I always talk about to the consumer. Ask questions. If someone says that their product is going to do X, Y, and Z, say how? Can you explain to me how? Do you have research for that? Do you have proof for that? Right? Now, one thing that we always like to talk about is that that's why we use these ingredients. That's why we use such known common active ingredients. We use ingredients like menthol. We use ingredients like camphor. We use ingredients like salicylic acid and colloidal, colloidal oatmeal because these, these ingredients are proven to work. We're not reinventing the wheel. Right? So if someone says that their product can do something, ask them how. That's my first question. The second thing, it's important to look at, you know, Who's the company putting it forward? Who is this company? Are they a bunch of dudes sitting in a basement? Or are they a real pharmaceutical company? Are they a company that has real transparency and push comes to shove, has insurance, has, you know, has a facility, is audited, is, you know, is a real company? Yeah. It's important. It's important to, to know and trust who's providing with these products. How do I know that I can trust these third-party results? How do, you know, ask the hard questions. Push the questions that are not going to want to be answered because... If they can't answer the question, don't buy that product. Only buy the products for companies that can really stand behind their product, can say what their products can do, can feel comfortable and confident about the transparency and the levels they're providing. You know, it's kind of like you wouldn't put something into your body that you're not really sure where it came from, right? Well, this is no different. So, you know, um, I'm always a little bit baffled at the uh, adoption that people have taken to CBD tinctures and oils when there's so little understanding about how it works systemically throughout the body. 
Um, you know, whereas our products take a very simple direct approach. These are topical localized products, uh, straight to the root of the pain, straight to the source, no if, ands, or buts, pain. <laughs> so, um, you know, really the, the important question I, I would say like this, who's making it, what's it supposed to do and how is it supposed to do it? If you can answer those three questions, should be good to go. Great tips. And thank you very much for having us. It was a pleasure talking to you. My pleasure. Thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs>